hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i made this wafer paper bowl and it took me maybe like it normally would take me around 10 minutes but it took me like maybe a little bit longer because i had to film it for you guys but it is so easy it is so fast like usually i look for simple and easy ways for me to add accents to my cakes and have them looking beautiful and exceptional because i feel like a lot of bakers don't use wafer paper enough because it is plain and just not very impressive when you look at it so i have a video on how i like colored this so i have a video on three ways to color wafer paper so if you want to see that I'm going to put the link right up here. Just click on me. Yeah, click on that. Okay, so right now I'm trying to cut them into strips. So what you want to do is try to cut them into equal strips as much as possible. If you have some excess that can't fit in, no problem. Just put that aside. But make sure the strips are as equal as possible. Because when you're making your bow, and some are fatter than the other, it's going to really annoy you, and you don't want that. Okay, so. Um, if you notice some of them have gold highlights like this one has just gold and stuff and it is bending and that's because when I painted it I added too much like it had too much liquid on the brush so you should watch that video and see what not to do okay so now that I've cut it into strips the next thing we are going to do is to make our bow okay so let me show you guys how I make my edible glue yeah okay what you want is um, some water a food brush a clean brush and then some cmc cmc is also called tylos powder cmc tylos powder or sms is the same thing you can even call it sms because they don't have a c in the alphabet they have an s it's very funny <laughs> anyways so you want to stir that and then it gives you this gelatinous mix that's what you want so you want to take a piece of um wafer paper and cut it out and then you're going to take that piece and add some glue onto it and then start to stick on your your bowl so basically what you want to do is take a piece of um, wafer paper that you already cut cut out the edges like that yes and then stick both edges together yes that's what you want to do and then that's what we're going to do for each one but what we're going to do is we're going to be alternating the positions so now that we've done two opposite sides we're going to do the um the um adjacent to opposite sides if that makes sense and now that we and the fact that we're using different colors you want to make sure the colors are as evenly spaced as you can so the um with the bow when you're done can look uniform and it don't look like maybe some parts of it were like an afterthought okay so um I took some plain wafer paper because I felt like the ones I had would not be enough so if you're going to be making a bow you need basically about three wafer paper depending on the size of the bow if you're going to be making something this big you need about um, three or three and a half wafer papers and this wafer paper I'm using here is a very thin one so the thicker it is the better the thicker ones are a little bit expensive this is 0 .0 0 0.2 millimeters yeah so if you buy the 0 0.5 or you buy the 0 0.7 it will be like your bow will be a lot um stiffer and will be a lot stabler yeah if that's an english word but you guys get me so i'm going to leave the link for you guys to buy um wafer paper of different sizes in the description box in case you're looking to do that and maybe some of my favorite um cake decorating tools as well okay so i'm cutting out the edges and then sticking it together and then sticking it on top of one another in part until the wafer paper is full okay guys sorry i kind of got cut off because my alarm went off okay so that's what we're going to be doing for every strip of paper until our bow is full we're going to be alternating the colors and then sticking them on so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video like what are you waiting for <laughs> it's been a while i said that sorry so please subscribe to my channel and um turn on the click the bell button so that every time i post something you get notified and you get to see it if it's useful to you or not and most times i promise it's useful to you because i make really great videos for beginners um, intermediates and professionals alike so <laughs> you're welcome anyway so that's all we're doing today we're going to just be sticking it on until we are satisfied do i think it is full enough mm, i think so 
I think we should pull one more strip. So I'm going to pull one more strip somewhere in the middle. Just do it until you think it is like full enough and like stable enough for you and stuff. And that's all you have to do. It is quite easy. The last part, just make sure you stick it with something, not your hand, because that way it will help you stick it in the direction you want. And this was our bow when we're done. So this bow can fit on a seven inch cake and cover the whole top. Yeah, impressive, I know. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your, you know, patience and for always watching my videos. I love you guys. Bye, and I will see you in my future videos. Bye.